Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today I wanted to bring you a very quick video about Drop Task and its new layout. Uh, the application updated a few days ago and I just wanted to share it with you quickly. I'm very excited about it because um, they came out with a new workflow layout. It looks more like a Trello board. So now it kind of is a Trello competitor in some way. So without further ado, this is Drop Task and its new layout into Torayets. So here I am is one of, in one of my project in Drop Task. You can create as many projects as you like. Just click new project here and then create uh, a new project if you like. You can have templates uh, if you wish to have to work with templates. So create your project. You, you have different view. You have the canvas view, which is the typical drop task view. What makes drop task a little bit different is that it it, it uh, uh, organizes your task in in sort of a Venn diagrams like bubbles. So the the the, the group the big bubbles are groups and the small bubbles are tasks. So you can also have a group within groups within groups. So that's great because in the workflow um, view, you can have categories also like, for example, here or here. So I really enjoy it. If you click on a task or on a card or whatever, click on this one, uh, you can, first of all, add a cover image. Of course, you can set the progress of the task, the importance, the urgency, the efforts, of the task so <clears throat> the efforts will update the size of the bubble so let's work with this one for example here let's go a bit closer so for example importance you have a flag appearing and then urgency you can have different level of urgency and then efforts will update the size of the task so that will uh, alert you that a task require more resources, effort, time, or commitment, or whatever else your criteria are. Um, so you can also have a calendar view here. You can see all your tasks. This, this view is in, um, in the form of a, a card like this, like a, yeah, like a workflow kind of form. It's not in, in little bubbles like it used to be before. And I really enjoyed this layout better because it, obviously allow me to organize tasks by priority or and it gives you more visibility in general um, now what they do as well that is new is that you can view your done task um, up to seven days you can leave them visible and then they'll disappear from your workflow I set it up for just uh, today so tomorrow my vis my done task will be um, invisible but if I want to see them per Project, I just click on the project that I want to see and then go um, in complete it and I can see the tasks that have been completed, when they've been completed for a particular project. Or I can also use um, the filter to filter task per project or, or um, importance and tags and things like that in the calendar. So I don't want to go over all the features because I've done a video already about it. I just wanted to show you this new layout. Uh, the new features, so that includes um, this particular layout with the cards. It includes um, the visibility of the tasks that have been achieved, which wasn't there before. Um, and they also have sort of like a reward if you've done, um, you know, a thousand tasks, for example. There's, there's a window popping up saying, oh, congratulations and things. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be useful to me, but anyway. <laughs> It's there. So yeah, I just wanted to um, update you with that so you you know what's going on in the uh, productivity arena. Uh, I know it's not the best video, but it's just a spontaneous one. Anyway, go check it out if you're looking for Trello, maybe replacement or um, something new and fresh to try. I personally can't fall in love with Trello. I know it's great and all, but I don't know. I, I can't justify to pay for it for some reason. So, And another thing I really like, I wanted to show you again in this video, is the amazing sync feature with um, your calendar. Because each project will sync with your calendar, let me tell you, perfectly. Like, there's no problem with sync at all. It's great. And so it allows you to visually see 
um, on your calendar what project you're working on and sort of a timeline view of your project. And it, the sync it goes both goes both ways. It's perfect, which means that Drop Task can sometimes integrate with other apps that also sync with uh, Google Calendar, such as the Brain, for example, or Curio, which are two other apps that I use. So I'll show you again the Brain if you haven't seen the video about it. This is the Brain. This knows all that. This is the Brain. I've done a video about it. If you don't never heard of it before. So this is Curio. You can go and have a look on their website. I will list it down below. And these two applications sync seamlessly with Drop Tasks. So, so for me, it's great for my workflow. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> I know this wasn't the best video you've ever seen on YouTube, but I was very exciting. I just wanted to show it to you. I'm working right now on uh, Devon Thing. Uh, different thing tutorials that you guys asked for so stay tuned for that in the next video it takes a while it's a big application so be patient <laughs> but it's coming I've received so many requests for that so I'll try my best to help you out anyway um, I'll see you in the next video and in the meantime uh, be productive and have a lovely day bye bye